Hi, I'm Robin Houston. I'm going to talk about um, the Carbon Map, which is um, an online interactive squishy map that tells the story of global carbon emissions. It's a collaboration between me and Duncan, who is in the audience. Um, so this is the world. Um, if you're used to seeing the Mercator projection map of the world, you'll be surprised to discover that Greenland is actually smaller than Africa. Um, but so, so th this is the world roughly as you would normally see it, in other words, with, with the, the, continents, the continents covered differently. Um, and then so across the top are various different views of the world that the website presents. With the, we begin with some background information. This is the actual area of the, um, uh, of the different countries uh, representing the true land area. Africa's bigger than you think. Europe smaller, roughly speaking. Um, population, um, again, not hugely surprising, perhaps, but interesting to see it squished out like that. But um, uh, Asia really is very, very dominant over there in the population map. Um, and then this is the uh, global domestic product of the different countries of the world. So that means that's the amount of wealth created domestically by activity that happens within the individual countries. But it's going fossil like spouty, didn't it? Um, and so this is, and finally we're onto on fossil fuels, which is the main point of the map, of course. This is where the fossil fuels are extracted in the world. This is um, measured in atoms of carbon, roughly speaking. So, um, uh, and this is where the, and this is where the fossil fuels are burned. So very dominant in the United States. There are an awful lot in China. Um, and Europe also fairly dominant, the rest of the world really very much shrinking away. But then if, if you move from that, and if you look at where the goods are consumed, so if something's manufactured in China and then exported to the US, for example, which does sometimes happen, then if you assign that carbon to the US rather than to China, um, so in other words, if you, if you, oh, we missed it, sorry. Historically, all the carbon emissions ever, um, Britain is huge and squashing Europe, isn't it? Massive. Um, so this is all the carbon emissions since the Industrial Revolution, most of which are still in the atmosphere. Um, and this is where the fossil fuels actually are in the ground. This is fossil fuels, known reserves that are economically extractable under current conditions. Middle East is very, very dominant there. Um, the United States surprisingly big as well. And then finally we have some vulnerability maps over on the right there. I'm only going to show you one of those. This is people who experienced weather-related natural disasters in 2010, number of people. Very, very dominant in Asia. Now, obviously, it's not 100% reliable, but you can imagine on the whole that, that weather-related natural disasters are going to be worsened by climate change. And then finally, we have some shading that you can overlay. The shading here represents the GDP per person. And again, I put this on the historical emissions map, and you can see a pretty strong correlation there between the dark colours and the big countries suggesting that a large historical emission is correlated with current wealth, quite closely. Um, phew, sorry, that was uh, slightly got away from you there. That was, that was you know, roughly the, the story of carbon emissions. Now, just a little bit about some of the thinking behind how we did the site. If you go onto the site, actually, it's got a big play button in the middle, and it's got this uh, kind of, you know, um, audio widget over here. And if you press that button, then it will play through and um, animate the map to different states as Duncan explains the story that I've just told you, but more eloquently and in a less panicked way than I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so the idea of that is, is that um, uh, we, we had this idea that we wanted to combine um, a sort of video experience where you sit back and enjoy it and it washes over you but you don't have any control of it. With a, with a kind of data-driven interactive type of website where you um, get to explore it, but you don't necessarily know where to start. So um, we're combining, so the idea of, of that mechanic, which we're calling a talkie because it gives you a tour and it talks, um, <laughs> uh, is, the, is, the, is, is to combine the best of those two experiences. Of course, the other device that the site relies on very heavily is a so-called area cartogram which is a cartographic technique where you represent something other than the actual area of a country by the area on the map. That was a very old example there. The technique that we're using to do that was invented in 2004 by a physicist and a geographer working together, and it relies on um, simulating diffusion to calculate where the borders of the map should go. 
So thank you, that's us, that's me, and thanks for listening. <laughs>